Hey guys, welcome back to another video today, and today we're going to be looking at this thing right here. A cheap $20 True Fire release. I got it from Roll King, and we're going to unbox it today and see how it works with my bow. I'm working toward a better one. Not might not be a True Fire, but I'm working toward a better release. Hoping to get one soon. So, first impressions of the box. Box is pretty fire, like in the name, True Fire. Yeah. Patriot. Okay. First impressions of the release. A little hair trigger, but test it out with my bow. It's got pretty it's got a pretty pretty easy slip on. Got my bow here, got my new stabilizers on that I bought that you guys seen in the last day, yesterday's video. So if you come with me, let's test it out. Oh boy, you guys are very much off centered right there, aren't you? Yes, you are. Mm, that should help. Alright, as you guys see, right there is the target. That's what I'm going to be shooting at. So, let's shoot it right now. When I went to go to Mike's Archery, they had to redo my sight because, well, I had to re, uh, re sight it in because one of the cams was doing faster than the other. I noticed it. So, we'll see how this thing does at 30. Alright, it hurts the wrist a little bit, but it still feels like there's something hard back there. Like a button or a screw or something. Overall impression, it feels nice. Let's try it out at 30. Alright, alright. Uh, I like the hair trigger on it. Now let's try it with another one. Let's see how it does. At 30. Our Carbon Express Mutiny on here. The last one was at Easton. This is 0.5 Creed. We lost a fletching somehow. How in the world did that happen? We lost a fletching. That's not good. So I guess we'll just use the Easton. Let's go to 20 yards and see how it does it. 20. Should work pretty good at 20, I'd hope. Let's hope it does, honestly. Oh, gosh. All right, how you guys feel right there? Good. That's good. All right, at 20. We're shooting at 20 now. Alright. Feels good. Except for this part right here. After a while, that part on this release will get rough on you. So, overall recommendations. If you're a needle one fast, I'd buy it. But, if you're looking for long term, I wouldn't. You don't want a hair trigger, I mean... You do, but you don't. I mean, so say you're pulling back just to get the feel of it. You accidentally put your hand right there. If you look, right there, just put your hand on it gently. Bam, it opens. And you just don't want that. But overall, for $20, it's not bad. Quick and easy and cheap. So 
I've, I've bought some cheaper before, and they've worked a lot worse. And I bought some more expensive than they worked a lot worse. So, overall, meh, it's a meh.